2,000 people joined together to search for a missing 13-year-old girl near Barron, Wisconsin today. The new ground search for Jamie Kloss comes several days after an effort with 100 volunteers turned up nothing. Barron County Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald says some items were found during a search for clues into the disappearance of, of Kloss, but the, uh, they still are being assessed and they don't seem to be linked to the case. Jamie's been missing since October 15th when deputies responding to a 911 call found that someone had broken into the family's home in Barron and gunned down and killed James and Denise Kloss. Authorities believe Jamie was abducted and have ruled her out as a suspect in her parents' deaths. Fitzgerald said Monday that investigators had received more than 1,300 tips and have closed 1,100 of them. Some of the tips led to the decision to resume the ground search, he said, although he declined to elaborate. Investigators are searching for two cars, a red or orange Dodge Challenger and a black Ford Edge or black Acura MDX that may have been near the Kloss's family home on the night of the attack. There's no information about the car's license plates. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.